Can we say that purgatory suffering will be no more than we can handle? Of course, let's talk about what suffering purgatory is. Should we fear it? Question mark. As we say, God doesn't allow in us more than we can handle, allow us more than we can handle this from Esther. So I guess the question is, uh, you know, kind of the mm-hmm. suffering in purgatory and assuming that if you get to purgatory, it means you can handle it and yet you'll get through it. Yeah, I mean, the first thing is uh, you have the correct uh, uh, point there, Esther, uh, right? God's not going to give us suffering we can't handle. That's completely incompatible with his unconditional love. The whole reason for the sufferings of purgatory, the whole reason there is suffering in purgatory is for the sake of purgation. And what does purgation mean? That means purification. So somehow we have to purge ourselves of some attitudes. And normally these are going to be egocentric attitudes that are somewhere linked to these seven deadly sins, right? To, you know, especially this, the sins of, of, of lust or of greed or of envy or of anger or of pride or of sloth, whatever it might, might be. They're all manifestations of ego, right? At, at the end of the day, they're all linked to pride as so many of our church fathers have told us. Now the main thing though to to remember is yeah God's got to kind of pry us loose and as I was just seeing in answer to the last question you know in order for us to get the freedom from these these attachments let's just call them uh, sinful attachments because they're seven deadly sins right uh, they're, they're, they're sinful attachments in order to do that sometimes you know God has to to bring into our lives something that's going to get our attention off the attachment and on to what's really important namely love namely the goodness and unique lovability of other people namely you know the, the freedom to, to get out of our egos to get out of self-worship and, and so forth. And frankly, you know, as you know from this life, anytime we get the grace, uh, you know, to to do this, it generally comes from suffering. But believe me, it will never be a suffering you cannot handle. In terms of fearing, you should not fear this pain. You can deal with it, but it is, there is a pain that's associated with, you know, getting this uh, detachment. There's no question about it. And of course, uh, you know, but don't fear, you don't, you don't want to play games uh, with yourself that this is going to be a, uh, an incomprehensible darkness because God would never do that to us. So purgatory is not going to be, quote unquote, a perfect hell. It isn't hell. Mm-hmm. It's the suffering of purgation. It comes we do need some suffering to push us, you know, through our inordinate attachments. But we have to freely choose to love, mm-hmm. and we have to freely choose to put others in front of ourselves. We have to freely, you know, stay away from dominion of, of others and so forth. And and yeah, there's 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 clearly pain mm-hmm. associated with it. Frankly, you know, there's a beautiful part of this book, the the, the Great Divorce by C. S. Lewis, right. where there is this guy, you know, he gets to the edge of heaven, let's call it purgatory, right? He's, he's there, and, and of course, um, he's got a lizard on him and, and on his shoulder, and the lizard is chattering away and giving him all kinds of, of rationale, and an angel comes down from heaven, essentially, and says, you know, just, just, just give me the lizard. You know, and they go, oh, well, the lizard goes, no, 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 I've your, been your friend for so many years, you, you, you can't possibly do that. It's going to be so painful, boy, if you get rid of me, you're, this is going to be the end of the world, I'm telling you right now. Right. Tell him, no, 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 you can't. And the angel says, I can't do it unless you give me permission. To, so the guy finds this, okay, do it. And there's just, just that moment of pain when the lizard comes out because gut the lizard's just embedded in him almost. And he rips off the lizard and he throws it on the ground, it becomes a stallion, and of course it goes rushing off to heaven. Now, you know, in a way, look at the pain like that. Yeah, it's momentary, it's deep to get rid of, you know, these, these inordinate, uh, you know, attachments, but at the end of the day, uh, you know, uh, God will turn it into the stallion that brings you right up.